Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Do you mind if I ask you to practice speaking English with me? No, of course not. But what for? Well, I'm meeting some American friends next weekend. I see. But I'm busy now. How about tomorrow? Hey, why did you take that money? You are such a cheater. I should send you to jail. I am not cheating. When you pass go, you collect $200. Everyone knows that. Well, you can't just take the money. You have to ask the bank for money. And I'm the banker. Banker? Yes. Can I have my $200, please? Sure. Here you are. $200. Thank you. Please come again. Now it's my turn to roll the dice. Susan has got married. Really? How do you know that? Her marriage was a hole and corner affair. Why? That's good news, but no one knows it. I have no idea. Maybe she didn't want to let us, so. Is there any more vodka in that bottle? Hum. I think there's enough for one more, yes. Marvelous. Pass it over. My name's George, by the way. Nice to meet you, George. I'm Irene. So Irene, what do you do? I'm in computing. I work for Macroherd. Macroherd, eh? What do you do? I have my own company that designs computer systems. David, have you watched the 82nd Oscar award ceremony? Avatar got the award of visual effect. The movie sounds great. You are so old-fashioned. I have already watched it last week in cinema. How was it? Its 3D animation is attractive and its colorful scenes are also unforgettable. It is said that the Hurt Locker got the award of Best Picture. What do you think about this? Well, its theme is moving and profound, so from the academic aspect, this is its advantage to win the award. We have waited for a long time. When will we start? Take it easy. I have to cut my losses. Hello, Mary. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you still seeing Paul? No. We broke up last month. I'm taking a break from dating for a while. Did you break up amicably? Sometimes couples row a lot before splitting up. We just decided to stop seeing each other. It was all very amicable. Are you still going out with Mike? Yes, I am. We're thinking about getting engaged. We've been dating for over a year now. Good for you. Have you seen Kelly recently? Is she still dating Nick? I haven't seen her for a while. She stopped seeing Nick because he was cheating on her. He was seeing a girl form his office. One day, she saw them holding hands and ended the relationship immediately. She was right to do that. I heard the Neil and Tina getting married soon. Really? They've been together for a long time. When are they getting married? I think it's the 26th of September. I'll check and make sure that Tina remembers to invite you to the hen night. Thanks. Hey, look at that guy over there. I think he fancies you. He certainly looks interested, doesn't he? Shall we invite him over to our table? Are you interested in history? 
Yes, I am. I enjoyed studying it at school. Though I had trouble remembering all the dates. So my teacher never gave me good marks. I love history, but I've always thought that learning the reasons behind events is more important than remembering exactly when they happened. I wish you had been my history teacher. I might have got better marks. Some people say that history repeats itself. What does that mean? The same events never happen twice, do they? The idea is that the people and dates change, but the reason why things happen stay the same. I see. I think I'd agree with that statement. People often seem to make the same mistakes over and over again. Hello? Hi, Shelly. Have you had lunch? Not yet. So shall we have lunch together? I'd like to take you this time. I'd like to, but I can't. How come? I've a lot of paperwork to do right now. I'm behind schedule. All right. Can we make it another time? Sure. Thanks. I'll call you later. Bye. Bye. Mary likes mountain climbing. What? No kidding. Yes, she's a professional climber. I can't believe it. Are you sure you can't lend me five thousand dollars? Hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll lend you four thousand dollars, but you have to pay me back next week. It's a deal. I am sorry to make you run down to the office for me. No trouble. I enjoyed helping you. You hurt Ben's feelings. So? So, Fred. What are your plans for after graduation? Well, I've already got a job waiting for me back in my hometown. That's cool. Have you already found an apartment to live in? I'm planning on living with my parents. Won't you? I couldn't even if I wanted to. My parents told me that if I went home, then I'd have to find my own place. You mean they're kicking you out? Not really. They just don't want me living at home. My older sister did that, and she lived at home for seven years. Once she started living at home, it got harder and harder for her to move out. Well, it's not like my parents want me to live at home the rest of my life. They said that it's okay if I move back home to begin with, but they want me to find a place of my own after a year or so. My parents just didn't handle my older sister very well, and because of that, they want me to be more independent. They think that it's important that I should learn how to live on my own. I know I need to learn that myself, but I just don't have the money for it at the moment. Living at home allows me to save up some money before I started finding a place. What does your mother do? May I ask? My mother works in a company as an accountant. Is she busy? Not always. She's rather busy at the end of the year. Oh hi, Linda. This is Todd. Yes, Todd. How nice to hear your voice. Linda. I just wanted to say that I had a wonderful evening with you last Friday. I really enjoyed our evening together, Todd. I had fun also and was wondering if you would like to go hiking with me in the mountains on Saturday. Hiking would be perfect. May I bring along a picnic lunch for us to share? A picnic lunch would be a nice thing to have along.
I'll work on the lunch, and you can work out the details of where we will go. What time will you be at my house? Nine would be good, don't you think? Nine is good. See you on Saturday. I'm terribly nervous. Calm down. This is a great meal. Thank you. I am glad that everything turned out so well. Who taught you how to cook this well? I took a cooking class at the Culinary Institute. Wow! What is in this chicken dish? Isn't that great? That is coconut ginger chicken with rice. Is the soup a shrimp soup? Yes. There is shrimp in there along with sea vegetables and lemongrass. I think I got lucky in choosing a wine that blends with this meal. I appreciate you bringing the wine. It goes well with the chicken. The air quality in this city is horrendous. The pollution levels were so high that we weren't supposed to go outside with a face mask again. Exhaust fumes from vehicles cause a great deal of damage to the environment. On top of that, there are a few large chemical factories in the suburbs, which are contributing to the high pollution levels in the water and the air in this city. As much as I love this city, I think I'm going to have to find a greener city to live in. Living in a polluted city like this just can't be good for my health. I know what you mean. However, there are so few places left that have not been affected by global warming. If it's not the pollution, then it's the natural disasters, deforestation, or the greenhouse. What is the greenhouse effect exactly? It's the gradual rise in the Earth's temperature. I see. So it's similar to global warming? They're related to one another. Yes. I heard that some people in England are pleased with the fact that the climate is becoming warmer because it's making their towns a more pleasant place to live. People joke about the benefits of the increase in temperature, but it's not all good news. They've been experiencing a lot of deadly storms there as well. People always seem to make jokes as a way to deal with unfortunate situations. I think if everyone pitches in, the world will be a better place. Hey, let's arm wrestle. Not now. Chicken, you're afraid I'll beat you. Are you kidding? I just feel tired right now. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.